Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of McClabe chapter 9 on ANOVAs. And when you read this problem, you'll see that we're talking about a, a new automated handling system was introduced in a plant and the management thinks that the workers are getting too tired and so they're taking days off. Uh, their absentee rate varies day by day depending on how many days they're working. So the, the test is to see if there's a variation in the number of workers or the percent of workers that take a day off. And we have data collected over five random weeks. So in essence here, we've got two factors. We've got the days of the week and the weeks. The days of the week, that's what we're concerned about. That's the treatment or the columns. And the weeks or the blocks are the rows. So let's jump in. Let's click on the icon to open up the data table. And then we'll click on the blue rectangle. And this time we'll open in Excel. The data will drop down to the bottom. I'll double click that. And we have the Excel file open. And of course, you'll have to save it locally and allow it to make changes. But we have our data. And unlike StatCrunch, we're lucky if we want to use the data analysis tool pack and we want to do the two-factor ANOVA without replication. This is not uh, replicated. This is just a randomized block design. We click OK. And we bring up the dialog box. And let's clear out whatever is in there. And we just need to select the data as it is structured, which is good. We have labels. We have an alpha 0.05. We're going to put the output here starting in column H and click OK. And we get our answers. And uh, it's that quick. And there you see in the ANOVA the, the columns, which are our treatments. That's the days. Remember, the days are in columns. Those are treatments. That's the row we're interested in. If we look over here, we can see that the F standardized test statistic is 2.3, which is the answer they wanted there. And then our P value for that row is 0 0.103 which is the answer they wanted there, which of course tells us to fail to reject or do not reject the null that the mean absentee rate each day is different. I'm going to click done on that. So we do not reject that null. That means that we cannot say that the means are different. And because of that, the last question, do we need a two key? Well, again, because the treatment, the, uh, treatment test here and that row there, the columns row is labeled here, uh, is not significant. It's not less than 0.05. That means that we don't need to do the two key. Hope this helps.